Oh, what up, we back. So here's the situation. I got a 20 foot decking. My lift is completely maxed out, but I'm still drooping on this side. And every time I go to snatch off this, uh, this pellet fuel up until now, I just took my bar and smacked the bag off of it because it kept catching. But you know, I shared the good, the bad, and the ugly with you guys. This was supposed to be a smooth delivery. Um, so let's just see how it goes. Hoping I don't drop it. Um, but yeah, my, my lift is completely maxed out. So, and decking, as you know, is super slippery and it keeps getting snagged. Come on. And I don't want it to fall on any cars or anything. If it falls, I'm gonna have to scoop it up anyway. It's like these people are like scared to drive over a curb or something. And I'm thinking even if I did spread my forks out, it wouldn't even made a difference to be honest. So what I'm gonna try to do is just set it down real quick. Pull out, tilt forward. Side shift left, pick it up as much as I can on this side. I got a feeling it's gonna fall. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I'm stuck right now, guys. If I take it off, it's gonna fall. Um, and I did that to try to save, to try to save it. Um, mm, let me see if I can throw another ratchet strap and then like hold it on. Not a ratchet strap, but a uh, a strap. I'll try to put like two more. Ow. That hurt. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna buckle it in, tighten it down, pull my straps out. I'm gonna pull my forks out, spread the forks, and then maybe see if I could pick it up more on the right side because I gotta get it off the truck 
I'm running short on time right now. So all these extra straps I'm gonna end up throwing. Just wait till these cars get out the way. Of course, I'm gonna need my bar over here. Cause the last thing I want is that decking to fall. And if I can't get it off, it's gonna have to go right back to the shipper and tell them that they gotta take it off and we'll probably have to reschedule because I don't have time today. Turn my wheel for him. I know this one. So I'm gonna crank down on this one like extra hard. At this point, I don't even care if I rip pellet fuel because the risk of damage. and the risk of uh i don't remember which strap it was you know what i'm gonna just see what straps come over as well three and four. Right, this one has some give to it. So I don't think it's that one. Uh, 
Yeah, this one got some give to it too. So I'm not even sure. So I'm gonna try to just push my forks over and see what we can do. stuck all right So what I want to do is uh, put the forks. Come on, bro. Stop rubbernecking. Let's go. Get your ass out. Put the forks under this side just to support it. Then I'm gonna loosen the strap on this one. So that is number three. Lift it up and then try to get a full grab on it again. But if I can't, I'm gonna just push it right back up. That's how you save it now you figure out if it's even worth delivering anymore because my forks are like maxed out so with the decking being on top it maxed out my my lift so the right side 
still droopy. I might not be able to get it off. So I'm gonna try one more time. If I can't get it out, I'm gonna just bring it right back to the shipper. Yeah, I'd rather not kill nobody today. Just some iced tea, baby. Ooh. Hey, this is one of the craziest deliveries I've had in a while. All right, so I'm going to loosen, even if I don't know if these are holding anything, I'm going to loosen these. Yeah, I'm going to loosen these just so I can throw them on top. Yeah, it was stuck up there for a while because this this side was down this side was getting snagged yeah. on the the pellet fuel bag and then i just threw all of my scraps over just to hold it on while i readjusted my forks I'm gonna try it one more time. Did you put it on? No. Oh. I, 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 why it's not on a pallet? I don't know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all my straps back over. Yeah. You got the YouTube channel. I do. That's you? Yeah. Dude, I've watched that stuff online. Yeah? You know, well, I saw it, I lived down the back over there, and I, and I saw the truck, and I saw the thing before. I said, I got to ask that guy if that's the guy. Who yeah, that's me. That's that, you, yeah, huh? that's that's what I'm dealing with right now. Uh, okay. I appreciate you watching, brother. Keep watching. All right, so yeah, I'm going to pull the straps out. Woo! Saw that. <laughs> so the reason why I'm pulling the straps out is so that 
All right, that one's stuck. Just so that when I put the decking back down, it's not going to get snagged. Uh, like none of your straps are going to be underneath the decking. That one still might be. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna just push it back up there and then bring it back to them. Don't have to reschedule it. It's all right, I'm, I'm backing out. Let me just get this back up so it doesn't fall. That's all she wrote. Unfortunately, can't make this delivery. Um, it, it's actually taller than my mast can, can reach and I don't have blocks to help get it under. So it's all right. Contractor understands. He sees what's going on. Um, you know, gonna have to call because I'm I was already running short on time to get my route done. So we'll see how much of it I can get done today. So um, yeah, let me just get the machine back up. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, dealing with the struggle with me, and uh, I'm gonna restrap down. And uh, yeah. Pretty much sums it up, y'all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Later.